Hey guys, we're going to take a look at my elevator parts collection and my elevator key collection. First off, we're going to start off with the elevator keys. First up, we have my Dover. <sighs> Hang on, guys. It's kind of dark in here. It's a G H2395. Here is a reverse copy. I bought this key thinking it was an H2389 fire service key, but I made a mistake and ordered H2395, but as you can see, the cut pattern on this real H2395 is different from this one. If you reverse this pattern here on a key blank of this type, you will get a fire service key. And, as you can see, it's stamped H2395, which is totally wrong. Here is my... Okay, hang on, guys, again. Key is stuck. Okay. Here we have my H1848. Yes, my keys are very dirty. And this does the floor lockouts, and... Floor, just mainly floor lockouts. I don't know if it does anything, really anything else, so... Floor lockout key. H1848. Next, we have my H1846 key. This does run stop. Um, shaft way access switch. And I do believe that's it. If, if you guys know, please correct me. If you guys know anything more on the key, let me know. And here is my ThyssenKrupp for newer ThyssenKrupp elevators. L203. This does the fan light and independent service. And I do believe run stop on, on newer ThyssenKrupp elevators. So, next key is my... Oh, wait. Okay, the next key. We're moving on to the next key ring, so let's quickly get them out. Okay, here's my next key ring. Hold on, guys. Okay, hang on. Okay, first key. My here. Okay, here we go. Here's my Otis UTA fan light independent service run stop and. Car top inspection switch key. Very awesome key. Looks great. Okay. Here's my Otis UTF key. Original factory key. Fire service key. Okay. And here is my UTC elevator. Otis elevator key. I don't know the functions of this key, but yeah, it well, it does floor lockout. That's all I know so far is it does floor lockout. Very nice key. Okay, next, BGM30 or, or Cat30 Otis Elevator key does lock cabinets on Otis Elevators. And here we have my J200 does locked cabinet and in cab lockout in most elevators. Okay. Next is my barrel key collection. EX513. Innovation fixture key. Fan light independent service. And I do believe run stop. The Kone 4 key. Independent service key. And here we have my Kone 2 key, fan light independent service, and run stop on some on a Kone Eco Disc elevator. And here's a FEOK1. This one is the dating of the pre 2007 code, as you can see. Right there, it's the pre 2007 code. Okay, now then let me grab off my Otis key and let's get into the panel. And we'll 
take a look at my elevator parts collection. We have an extra, extra UTC key. If you guys would like it, let me know. Okay, so let me grab out my flashlight. Let me grab out these fixed these, um, arrows here. These are arrows. These are Montgomery Vector arrows. And here we have my Otis button. My Otis Series 1 button. Older style, older series one button. Look at that beautiful button. It's a beautiful. I may just wire this thing up for a nine volt battery, but for now I have it plugged into the wall. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I like the way it lights up. It's the up button, or. If you mount it this way, it could be the down button, but no, that wouldn't look right. So it's the up button. Okay, so now then, we're going to look at my Dover Impulse button. Beautiful button. Dover Impulse. Okay, so let me grab my mag light. Turn around, and there we go. She's lit up. Lit up the Dover button. Beautiful. Okay, now for my up and down arrows, this little plastic here goes in the back, okay, and there we go, up, up, down, down, okay, well, no, yeah, oh, down, Up, up, down. Okay, well, let me remove the top of this flashlight. Pop that off. Okay, now we'll probably get it better. Up, down. Let's do it like this, then I'll pile them up and I'll put them up on each other. Okay. Okay. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Beautiful. Now then, get the top on there. I'm kind of blinding myself here. Okay, we'll turn on the flashlight. Okay. Dover and pause button. Put it back. In our little carrot, in the little storage box here. Okay, now we'll put our little arrow here, and we'll put the little plastic piece here, and then the down arrow. We'll put it facing down because it's a down arrow. Okay. Down, up, down, up. Little white plastic. And there's my buttons. Okay. Now we'll close up the control panel. We'll close up the storage box. And now, let me grab my, my H1846 key. H1846 key. Here is my hall access switch. So here we go. I'm gonna send the elevator, I'm gonna move the elevator up. Oh, big bump. Okay. Now I'm gonna send it down. Or if you wanted to, you could probably use this as a hall station. Wire it up right here to the controller. Wire it up for up and down for the elevator. And let's give it a call. So yeah. And I also have a spare H1846 key if you guys really need it. If you guys want one, just give me a, just give me a message and I'll probably send it to you. So, um... Oh, keys backwards. Okay, get her in. Up, down, up. Up, down, up, down. Off. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed my little um, demo of my elevator parts and key collection. And it's not focusing. There we go. Get her hand in the back so she focuses. And have a beautiful day.